guys, how's it going? So it's a beautiful day out here today. A great day to get some projects done. I mean, we are almost to the end of January and it's 46, the sun is shining. It feels like a gift because the forecast said it was supposed to be gray and rainy. So it's just a great day to be out here. I wanna do a couple of projects I wanna show you and then also give you some updates starting here with the west side garden up against our house. So you can see right away that the concrete sidewalk is gone. You might remember it was a long skinny strip that was both gray and pink. It went every other square like gray pink, gray pink, kind of interesting. And then this whole side was grass. We recently planted in the are kind of hard to see right now because they're just sticks, but Limetta hydrangeas, there's a whole hedge of them that goes right to the juniper and then it picks up again right after the juniper again and takes off down this way. And then we've got a line of sprinter boxwoods on that side. And we've done a few videos over here. It's a complete mess, you guys. Well, one, because of all of this, but also we recently had another AC unit put in. So I have three AC units to cover up plus four irrigation boxes and then that's our little well house that we need to do some maintenance on it is just oh boy so having an old house and an interesting kind of layout this ac unit is for the new side of the house this one is for the downstairs on the old side of the house and that's for the upstairs on the old side of the house maybe one day we won't have to have them all but I'm just thankful they're all kind of in the same location and not spread out all over in the garden. We have done a few videos over here, like with the weeping white spruce, which is doing really well. You can see that there. There's a climbing David Austin rose and then a bunch of perennials in here. So the plan is to put in another walkway and I don't know exactly how that's gonna look in the end, except for I do want it to be cohesive with the other side of the driveway. We're using the same bricks. Aaron was able to get uh, some more of those bricks right after we got done with that project. They went on sale for less than half the original price So he bought three full pallets. They're sitting behind the barn, which I'm super thankful that we have now It makes these kind of smaller projects a lot easier to complete uh, But I'm just really excited to see it unfold over here I do want your opinion on something though because I did mention in our seed haul video That I was going to be planting a moon garden over here and that idea was originally for this side of the driveway But it's quite large. Let me show you It's pretty bright out here but that's a really like a pretty good sized piece of ground right there. And while it would be really fun, I'm a little bit afraid that I'll feel too restricted, especially, you know, year after year after year, just doing white flowers over here. So what I'm wondering is if I should go ahead and do the moon garden over here, which might be a little bit more fun because I will have some differing light. So the first part of it you can tell is shaded. Then we get sun right here, and it's really um, intense sun in the afternoon. And we are probably gonna be taking this lilac out, this kind of old, old lilac. So that will make this entire section sunny. So we can have like a half shade, half sun garden, and we can use a whole bunch of different stuff um, as opposed to the other side, that's completely full sun. And I love a good white garden, but I also like a lot of other colors. So I'm afraid, I'm just afraid I would get a little bit bored with it in such a big scale, as opposed to doing it on a smaller scale here. I don't know, I would love to know what you guys would do if this was your space. And now I need to head to the barn because I actually found some bulbs um, that I put in there this past fall and I forgot about. There's some hyacinths, so they have been chilling in the barn and I'm gonna plant them in some containers and get them inside and kind of create a spring and almost Easter kind of centerpiece for our kitchen island. And here they are. So we've got some pink hyacinth called Pink Pearl, purple called Purple Sensation, and some really pretty pale yellow ones called Yellowstone. I'm not quite sure how these got lost in the mix last fall when I was planting up all of our containers, but I'm glad they did because I love to have hyacinths inside. I love the smell of them. Uh, and the fact that they've been out in the barn means that they're all chilled and ready to go. I think you have to chill hyacinths, what is it, 10 to 12 weeks? Uh, before you can plant them and force them inside. And they've certainly got that amount of time underneath their belts. And the last update I wanna give you guys is of our loft. Because you might remember we did a video showing you guys how unorganized we were and we cleaned it up and it is very organized right now. I'm very proud of it. So this section you saw in that video, but this toward the back and this side are all brand new. This side right here, and I don't know what it is about tubs all lined up like that, but it just makes me so happy. It makes me feel like I can be more productive somehow. This whole section is Aaron's Christmas lights right here. It's kind of insane when you look at it right like this. 
but it takes a lot of Christmas lights to do what we do. And then um, we've got some random things here, just some organizing shelves we can pull out if we need them, our coolers, extra cushions. We've got um, some leftover trays and cans there, leftover cans there. We use a lot of those as much as we can. And then just some random stuff. There's some topiary forms and my mom and my bike <laughs> hanging from the, the wall there. And then the big thing for me was I went through all of my closets inside and brought all of my holiday seasonal decor out here because it was taking up, well, it was taking up that much room. It took up three closets in our house plus some. So I labeled everything like fall right here. There's Halloween right there, 4th of July, Easter, which I need to get into these, one of these tubs today to get some bunnies out. And then we've got more, most of all of it is Christmas. And then on this wall, which I'm not sure if you can see, but see those bags over the window? Those are all Christmas wreaths. And then these two racks, which there's some space left, which is awesome, have all of my artificial Christmas trees. So having everything out here in one spot is so nice because before, like I had a few tubs of fall in one closet and a tub there, you know, in another closet with fall stuff, like nothing was together. And it was a lot of work and our house looked like chaos for like a month trying to get everything, like all my Christmas decorations taken down and reorganized. I bought all new tubs, mostly all new tubs so that they would all stack nicely together. Uh, and we utilized all the old tubs for Christmas lights. So it was just a big shift pro uh, process. I did leave decor kind of things inside that could be used at any point of the year. So those are the only kind of items I left in there, like all my candles, of course, because it gets way too hot out here, they would all melt. And then anything that was just kind of like, just. I don't know, straight up decor and didn't really have a season that you could attach to it. So while we're up here, I actually need to get into the Easter tubs, like I said, to get some bunnies out for this kind of spring centerpiece that I wanna make. And that's why I figured I'd give you guys a, a uh, update on what it looked like up here. First off, these are the containers. Aren't these cool? My parents just got these in down at the garden center and I had to get them. So little containers with really pretty kind of topiary cage tops. Uh, and then there's the silver tray here. I like to do all my centerpieces, like plant them all up or set things in a tray so I can easily shift it around, especially, oh, naughty. Naughty cheddar, no, 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 bud. You can't be on top of here. No, no. Strip my pansy seeds. You too. So I was saying that I like to put my centerpieces in trays, especially if they're on a coffee table, so I can easily move them around. I'm gonna be planting grass in this arrangement, so I've got some saran wrap to just protect all like the bottom of the tray and the bottom of my pots. Um, we've got some pink hyacinths. There's 18 of these total, there's six in each bag. I've got 12 purple hyacinths and 12 yellow. I also, these are the things I got out of the Easter tubs and I may not use like, I'm not gonna use these because these are like overtly Easter. The rest of this stuff can just be kind of termed spring. So there's some artichokes, some quail eggs. There's a little faux butterfly right there. I might work these in because they're fairly benign. Like they just kind of, I don't know. They're not like brighter colorful. And these hyacinths are just so springy colored anyway. And Easter is my favorite holiday that it's hard for me not to want to add a few touches, even if it's super early. I don't decorate for Easter like I do for Christmas because we don't have enough time in the spring to do that. And I don't really, like I don't love the decorations for it. I think the reason I love Easter so much is it's the most low pressure holiday there is to me. I mean, it's spring, so I have that spring energy and that spring feeling, and we get together with family just like we do on Christmas, but like the gift element is gone, and just like all of the, uh, my dad would say flim flam, all the flim flam that's, that surrounds um, Christmas is gone, and I just love the simplicity of Easter. So anyway, that's why I'm kind of like really anxious to get started. What I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna use the biggest of these 
three because I think it looks too crowded. I'm just gonna use two. Let me turn the camera around, it'll be much easier. I think two in here will be perfect. So if I did something like, oh, something like that maybe. And that way it gives me room to add in any like decorative things that I want later on, either today or later on. And I could also plant a couple of hyacinths down in here. Um, but I'm going to be lining this whole tray with saran wrap as well as wrapping the bottom of the pots with saran because I'm gonna be putting soil in here and planting grass. I don't know if this is watertight, so I wanna make sure I protect you know, any like water from spilling out and ruining any surfaces. Okay, so at this point, what I'm gonna do is just set the camera up and get this all planted, and then I'll show you what I ended up deciding because this will kind of evolve, I think, as I go. So let me stop and show you where I'm at right now before I cover everything over. So I'm gonna trim all the excess saran wrap. Um, I've got my nice bed of soil to seed my grass, which I've got my little bag of grass seed right here. And then I ended up just going with the purple and the yellow hyacinths for this display because I think I have enough of these to fill up a different container, which I'll go get in a second. Three purple hyacinths down here, which will bring a nice layer of height We've got purples in here, so there are seven total in this container, and four yellows. And then I had two purples left over that I tucked in back behind to bring in a little bit of height back in the back part of the display so it looks pretty from all the way around. And then there's still plenty of room, you know, like once those hyacinths, just imagine them being up above the bunny with some grass surrounding it. And then the other little bunny, which had a broken ear, I had to fix. Um, anyway, I think it'll look really sweet. And I thought about waiting, like holding off on seeding the grass because it's such a fast crop. And it will take the hyacinths a little while to kind of come out of their, their sleep and start growing inside. But there's already some green showing up above the bulbs. So I think I'm just gonna plant everything today. May as well. So I just realized I did this wrong. I used my big container, which I wanted to leave out. I just talked about that. <laughs> and just use the medium and the small and then put the big one somewhere else. Dang it. All right, I'm gonna have to retool this a little bit. Fixed it, so now I have the appropriate sized pots in there like I had originally planned. So now I'm gonna finish it all up. This project ended up taking on a complete life of its own. Those bulbs stretched a lot further than I thought they were going to, so I had to go grab this long trough container, which I filled up completely full with pink hyacinths, and also this extra container here that I popped the extra yellows in. In the larger size, like, cloach container here, I put a lemon coral sedum that was looking really good out here in the greenhouse, and then I put the little butterfly on top. Nice little simple spring feel to that and then this one is going to be really pretty so i ended up doing purple hyacinths in here and then there's purple here and here so we'll have a nice little stair step height there and then there are three yellows here so we'll have some contrasting color and then i planted some grass seed in there which i have already watered in with my pump sprayer which i have here and then i will be covering it in saran wrap until the grass germinates just to help keep the moisture in uh, and then the bunnies will hang out until the grass is filled in just a little bit. And at that point, I will rest them right here, kind of in the open space. And I used regular potting mix for all of these. Where are you going, bud? You can see it in his body language that he's thinking of something naughty to do right now. What are you gonna do, bud? So these are all really easy to take care of. I just need to water sparingly just because most of these containers, except for this one right here, they don't have drainage, which is okay because these are temporary. All I need to have happen is the hyacinths to grow, bloom, and then when they're done blooming, I'll cut off the bloom stalk and I'll leave the leaves, and at that point, I will plant them out in our garden because they're perennial here. And once their leaves start to yellow and wither, I'll cut those back and then they'll just hang out in the ground until next spring where they will come back up and bloom again, which is really fun because I get to use them in this fun way and then I get to see 
see them again and again throughout the years. And because they're in containers that don't drain, you just wanna make sure to water sparingly. In fact, we should put a picture up of when I did a centerpiece with some white hyacinths in copper, like really shallow copper trays, and I just anchored them in with rocks, and there was just a little skiff of water at the bottom of those containers, and they did great. And they are actually planted in our kitchen flower bed, and they bloom every single spring. So it's just a really fun reminder. Every time I see those, I am reminded of that project. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Just because I ended up with extra containers, I don't know exactly where they're going to go. So I'm going to have to go inside and clear some areas and clean before I place these, and I've got to get them all watered in and such. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just fun to get out here and do something springish. Um, I've just been craving it, and I'm so sorry for those of you who are are still under snow I mean we might still be in for it who knows we've been having a really weird winter but sometimes we have a nice January and then in February or March we get nailed with some really cold weather so you just never know what's gonna happen anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope it was inspiring and just nice to see something green and something fresh like I'm particularly loving this container right here it's so pretty we will see you guys in the next video bye